With the introduction of patch 14, I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware that BSG have completely reworked the armor system and have changed its characteristics in a way that have left a lot of people confused. Throughout the course of this wipe, I've been running and experimenting with several different armors and I'm here now to show you guys 7 armors that you should be using if you want to succeed in Tarkov. Before we jump into today's video, I just want to give a quick reminder that I'm live over on Twitch pretty much every day between 6 and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys have any questions related to my videos or just the game in general, feel free to stop by and hang out for a bit. All right, so jumping straight into this video, I just want to let you guys know up front, this is in no way, shape or form a deep dive into the armor system, explaining every little intricate detail about it. This is simply my own opinions based off of the in-game experience I've had using armors this way. There's a ton of other content creators out there like Airwing Marine and Gigabee who have gone over this new system in ways that I just don't have the time or knowledge to do myself. So if you want to know exactly how it all works, I highly Highly recommend you check those guys out now if you're already familiar with how it all works and you're just looking for some random weirdo on the internet to kind of spoon feed you what you should be using you've come to the right place brother now with all that out of the way let's get into it so I've got seven armors to show you guys today I've tried to put them in order from like the worst all the way up to the best and we're gonna be starting out with ones that you could get at lower tier traders and then working our way up to higher tier traders so the first armor I have to show you guys is gonna be the Karasa you're able to get this at ragman level 2 for about 50k you can also get it on the flea for around 30 to 40k but i would just recommend buying it brand new from him but the reason why i like the karasa is because a it's relatively cheap and b you can take out the front and back plates and swap them for level four i believe you start getting access to level four plates at like skier and peacekeeper level three so swapping these threes out to level four is gonna be much better for your survivability the one downside to this is you're gonna end up with class two soft armor and that's gonna be in the chest back left right and the neck but the good thing is it does offer neck protection if you guys don't already know the neck is now part of the head hitbox so if you get shot in the neck essentially the same thing as a headshot the head hitbox only has 35 hp so covering the neck is very very important in this wipe using armors that have neck protection is going to be very important also not a whole lot else to say about the karasa typically when i was using this i would just buy it slap some level four plates in it call it a day obviously if you come up against somebody with meta ammo you're probably not going to survive very long anyways but if you're looking for a budget armor option this one is good now moving on from the karasa we're going to take a slight step up and we're going to be talking about the press vest now this one is good because you can get it from skier level one and what i like about the press vest is it's essentially the same thing as the karasa but you are allowed to put left and right plates in it the one downside is the soft armor on the press vest is going to have a little bit less durability than the karasa but you get all of the same areas of protection as the karasa offers so again neck protection chest back left and right side you can swap out these plates that are level three for level four and you can also add some side plates into it so i just think this is a little bit better than the karasa it depends on what you're trying to do if you want a little bit more soft armor protection but you also don't care about having left or right plates i would go with the karasa but if you do want the left and right plates, then I would recommend going with the press vest. Now this was bugged early wipe. I'm pretty sure they fixed it. So you should be good to go now if you wanna use this. But overall, I think this is a really good early game armor. And honestly, it could even be somewhat decent into the mid wipe. The one thing that is holding it back is obviously the class two soft armor. Now moving on from the press vest, we are going to go to a timeless classic in the Tarkov community. Everybody knows this rig. Everybody's probably run it once or twice in their time playing this game. And we are gonna be talking about the 6B3TM-01 armored rig or the rat rig so the rat rig honestly in my own personal opinion i don't think it's as good as it used to be mainly because you cannot put plates in this you can only use the soft armor that it comes with and obviously the storage space in it is not very good but the one good thing about this is in the front it offers class 4 soft armor so you got the chest stomach and groin all class 4 but the one downside is the back and the rear groin area are level two. So if you're gonna be running the rat rig, keep your enemies in front of you. Don't get shot in the back because you do not have good protection there. You can unlock this at Ragman level two. He's got two barters. One is gonna be three chainlets and one teapot. You can get yourself a brand new rat rig. And then if you use these things a lot, you're bound to get them back on insurance. 
you can go ahead and trade two ones that are badly beat up for a brand new one if you want to do that the one downside to this is you do not get neck protection but the benefit is is 90 percent of the time you're gonna get this back on insurance so you can just continuously keep trading these things in and get brand new ones moving on from the rat rig we're gonna be talking about arguably my favorite armor that i have been using this wipe and i have been using it a ton and that's gonna be the thor so what i like about the thor is it's a barter on level two ragman for just two slim diaries these things usually run between 30 and 40k so essentially you could get this as cheap as 60k the good thing about it is it already comes with class 4 front and rear plate and it also has class 3 built-in soft armor that's going to be front back and sides you're also able to put side plates in it so once you unlock those you can start throwing them in typically i'll throw in the class 5 side plates from peacekeeper and now i've got class 4 up front and in the back class 5 on the side and then class 3 soft armor this thing has been saving my life so much i absolutely love this armor it's been working out great for me it's cheap it's affordable you can put front back and side plates into it and i've been getting these things back on insurance a ton the one downside is the soft armor does have low durability only 25 out of 25 on the chest and the back but overall i would definitely say the thor has been my go-to this wipe i just stock up on them as much as i can and then constantly run these things as long as i don't have a quest requiring me to wear something else moving on from the thor we're going to move into two armors that i believe are going to be the absolute meta this wipe these are going to be the new slicks the new hex grids all that good stuff the only downside is they are not very affordable to run right now but if you have the money you absolutely can first one we're going to be talking about is the gazelle i'm sure a lot of you could have guessed that the gazelle is an absolute beast of an armor this wipe you can put front back left and right plates in it it's got class 3 soft armor it covers all of the important areas including the neck and it comes with class 5 plates if you're able to pick one up on the flea with them if you find one in raid this is going to be a must pick up armor i highly recommend you guys always take these out whenever you see them because the coverage is just super good when it's on your pmc obviously you guys know how the armor system works whatever you see on the character is what the armor is covering so if you can see an exposed area that area Area is not armored the gazelle does a very good job of covering a lot of your thorax on your pmc unfortunately these are insanely expensive on the market right now they're sitting around 400k and that's going to be without plates included so i can't put this at the top of my list on the best armors to be using right now because it's just not very feasible to pay for this and then you have to buy the plates if you can even get them insane armor but it just doesn't make sense to use it right now unless you find one in raid but i truly truly believe that the gazelle is gonna be one of the new meta armors it's gonna replace like the slick hex grid all that good stuff this armor is just very good right now moving on from that we're gonna be talking about the zuck armor which is essentially just a big brother to the gazelle so you're gonna have a little bit more soft armor durability it's basically the same shape same amount of coverage covers your neck same soft armor all that good stuff but if you find one of these in raid it's gonna come with class six plates obviously you're not really gonna be able to buy one on the flea for a cheap price there's one down here for a million with all the plates again just a big brother to the gazelle very good armor this is gonna be in my opinion the meta armor i don't believe you're gonna be able to buy this from traders but maybe there's like a light keep request that you can unlock it down the line so overall if the zuck and the gazelle were a little bit easier to get they would be at the top of my list but for right now they're just too expensive to justify running them but if you wanted to you absolutely could and now finally the last armor on my list this has become my new go-to and of course we're going to be talking about the osprey now don't get confused there are two versions of this there is the protection version which is what we're talking about and then there is an assault version which is a class four but the osprey protection you're going to be able to pick it up from peacekeeper level four and it is honestly insane how cheap this is i don't think it's going to last very much longer if you go over to peacekeeper four it is a barter for three sas drives and if we look those up on the flea they're sitting around 45 to 50k so for under 150k you can pick up an osprey and this is everything it comes with so you're going to get class five front and back plate and also class five side plates it comes with all of this on top of that you're going to be getting class three soft armor chest back left and right side neck protection which we've talked about how important that is and you're also going to get left 
and right arm and shoulder protection if we go ahead and check it out here right here in the armor areas you can see this armor covers so 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 much on your pmc and it is absolutely insane another bonus to the osprey is going to be the storage space it actually has a decent amount of storage 24 slots so not only is it an insane armor overall for the coverage it also has a lot of storage space and I think very, very soon we're going to be seeing the price of SAS drives going up an insane amount. I wouldn't be surprised if they hit over 100K. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are probably thinking right now. You're saying to yourself, hey, man, that armor is insanely heavy. It is almost 16 kilograms. That is way too much. Your movement speed penalties, turn speed penalties, ergonomics, all that good stuff. But let me put it a little bit into perspective here. So as you can see on my PMC, we've got the Thor and the Zuck on with the lighter armor coming in at 12 kilograms. This one has the front back and side plates it is a little bit lighter than the osprey obviously because it's smaller the penalties are relatively similar but if i go ahead and show you here we're sitting at 29.3 kilograms with the thor and the zuck and all of my stuff in here we're gonna go ahead take this stuff off i'll transfer everything i was using over to the osprey throw it on and we're sitting at 31.1 so switching between the thor fully kitted out and a rig over to the osprey is only adding on like two kilos so it's really not that much of a difference i've seen a lot of people talking about this armor and they always say the same thing they're like oh it's just too heavy yes it is heavy but it's relatively comparable with something like a thor which is what i've told you guys i've been running non-stop so the osprey in my opinion is going to be like that meta trader armor that you can can get pretty easily and i think this is going to be at the top of the list for quite some time especially for the rest of this wipe all right so that's basically going to do it that is seven armors that i would highly recommend you guys use this wipe obviously we didn't cover everything obviously i've not been able to use every single armor this wipe and get firsthand experience these are just some of the ones that i have used quite frequently and i've had pretty good success with them if you guys have any suggestions if you guys are using different armors that are working out great for you be sure to leave it down in the comments below i'd love to hear about it but other than that i'll see you guys in the next video